Sorting is an everyday requirement that most of us know how to do. Most of the time, sorting is based on a single parameter that is generally numeric, like arranging students of a class based on their marks. But then in real life, there are situations when you have to sort objects based on more than one parameters and which are not very numeric. Like sorting employees of an organization based on their performance in certain areas. For all these real-time situations of sorting objects, comparable and comparator come into picture. Comparable interface is present in java.lang package and contains just one method that is compared to. It provides single sorting sequence only. That is, you can sort the elements based on single data member only. For example, for the class dog, you can either do the sorting on data member name or color or breed. The compare to method works by returning an integer value that is either positive, negative or zero. A negative number means that the object making the call is less than the argument. A positive number means that the object making the call is greater than the argument and zero implies that both the objects are equal. Now suppose we want to sort dogs by their names and breed also. The solution is using comparator. The comparator interface is found in java.util package and contains two methods compare and equals. I want to underscore again how important the comparable interface is in sorting elements and searching for elements in sorted collections. We'll see more about the same in the solve problems.